Hello everyone, my name is Winnie Kiosis and welcome to back welcome back to That Cancer Dragon. No wait, that dragon cancer, sorry. Oh my Oh hey Yeah sure, let's play the game. Uh there we go. How do you play this? Oh I gotta pull the lever. Lever. Bill makes the pigs bacon for breakfast. Huh. Was that the peg or was that the farmer eating? I'm not sure. Let's see what else we can get. Farmer Bill plays oh. fetch with the pigs. <laughs> uh, oh, so I just gotta move it. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, the daytime is moving. Farmer Bill plays hide and seek with the cows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that timer thing up there. In the winter, Farmer Bill plays hockey on the pond with the ducks. Farmer Bill always wins, but the ducks perform mightily. <laughs> oh, Mighty Ducks! That's a what? hockey reference, I think. These the parents has invented a new scripting language called Equiscript. <laughs> I don't get that. Maybe some sort of equestrian thing. Let's go back to Duck. Farmer Bill doesn't like it when the ducks get the mail. They always bring back a lot of bills. Oh, that is a terrible joke. It's all dark. One more. I guess we go with cow. Farmer Bill owns the cattle on a thousand hills. <laughs> that is a lot of hills. And one more, I'm guessing. Farmer Bill asked the horse to take the truck to town. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I saw Farmer Bill doing that. What do we do now? Do we just keep playing? Okay. Tell me another thing about the pig. Farmer Bill separates the sheep from the goats. Sheep go to heaven. Goats go to town. Oh. That kind of got dark. I'm huh? sorry, guys. It's not good. This is about Joel, isn't it? Oh! Oh, there's a doctor from Team Fortress 2. Oh. What is this? What does that do? Father? Oh, God. No, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Who's the ghost that sat there? No. No, 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 no. no. Size matters. If I know how big it is, I can I can face it. I can size it up. But it's quite small at this point. But unfortunately, the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. I guess I have imagined it. I've imagined it a lot, but not like this. It's different. I thought I would sob uncontrollably or puke just right on the floor. I thought I'd shake or wail or something. I guess this is shock. Tragedy, he said. That's right. That's the perfect word for this. It's a tragedy. I wonder if he says that every time. He's crying a little. I love him for that. He's not callous. He's genuinely sad. She is too. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. So there's nothing we can do for Joel? We're very good at end-of-life care. We're very good at managing the pain end and masking life. symptoms at the end of life. Okay, I said fatal. Wait, where's the kid? I said not curative. Have, have I said the word death yet? I can tell they understand, though. A whole new vocabulary. All the rules are different now. 
I think it's really sinking in. Oh, she's crying. We should wrap this up soon. All the details can wait. ...to decide whether we could do some radiation or just chemotherapy. What would the radiation do? Well, the radiation could probably kill the tumor we see now, which would prevent it from causing any symptoms. Whoa! But it Whoa. would not keep more tumors from developing. Because we know if it's spread here, it has spread other places too. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is this? So, the radiation would buy us some time. I know. No. Nothing will really buy us any time at this point. It just can make the time you have left more comfortable. So, we'll schedule you to come back in Monday, and we'll have some options for you to consider. We're so sorry. So there's nothing we can do for Joel? In the movie, I'd be kicking things and throwing chairs through windows. Amy would be sobbing and back against the wall, so we thought, she's Amy. I should be yelling. Why am I not yelling? Thank you. That means a lot. You're welcome. Whoa, I'm sorry, guys. It's, it's not, not good. good. Yeah, my mom? They always clear. Let's go back to parents. Let's, Let's go back to parents. Of the Where, where is, is it? How big is it? Well, well, it's, it's in the thermal core, and it's quite small at this point, but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means it's in the very small. This, this is a tragedy. tragedy. With an ATRT, as soon as you have a recurrence of any kind, it is sustained. It is only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We have already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to give them chemotherapy that we know is resistant to. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curious. We're very good at the end of life care. We're very good at managing pain and masking symptoms. At the end of life. How long are we talking about? Oh shit, I can't see shit. Four months. You've given me a lot to think about already today. Oh shit. What's going on? I can't see him. Is he sinking? Oh, I can't see shit. Look up. Down. Is there somewhere I have to go? Okay, there you are. Drift. Hey, that's the painting. Like from in that room that we were just in. <coughs> Whoa. Oh. There's so much cancer. doing here nothing behind me only ways forward hello bird that's nice where's the father it's just Amy and Joel here huh <laughs> I have so many things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then, I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed, and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go, I know we will be cared want to shout out 
Look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I'm going to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt, but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faith. Okay, so she's a God lady. She's hoping that everything will turn out fine. Where do I go now? Oh, I get go up there. Oh, Joel's room. As you ready for bed? Joel, lay down. Okay. Should we do a song? Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, big huh. boys, why don't you come in here and we'll sing the littles a lullaby. I'm tired. No, it's it's bedtime. Ugh, okay. Oh, Elijah, lay down. Babe, did you even check in his love? Joel, no. <laughs> Joel has chicken stuck in his cheeks from dinner. Huh. <laughs> oh, that is so disgusting. Been in there for the last two oh. hours. Oh I'm, okay, gosh. hold on, I'm trying. Uh, oh, uh, Joel, ouch! <laughs> Did he just bite you? <laughs> I guess he bit his finger. Ah, uh, I think he like, just put too much in his mouth so he can't swallow. He was just saving it for later, babe. Uh, like, he needed a midnight snack. Hey, the little chipmunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. A big version. <laughs> a big version of a little chip on. Do you guys remember when he couldn't even eat any solids? And because he couldn't swallow. Do you remember that from the surgery? How it hurt his ability to swallow, so we had to give him bottles? Yeah, I remember one time we had pizza, so he chewed it all up and then spat it out everywhere. <laughs> so gross. What? Oh, that was so gross. But he just wanted to try things so bad. He wanted to taste them. He wanted to be like you guys. She got to taste foods. He loved to eat, and I remember all I wanted was to him for him to be able to kind of eat like a normal kid and have normal things. I thought he'd never be able to swallow normal food, but then he did. Mm-hmm. And now he's everything. Everything. Like he eats pizza. And pretzels and chicken and fingers. He tried to do these ones. Yep, drop a bit my finger ah, Joel, Stop! <laughs> ah, okay. And big ones. Okay. Settle down. Come here, come here, come here. Ah, let's sing a song. Okay. Um, what should we sing, Isaac? Uh let me go. Okay. We, I like it. We yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, you guys, I'd love to have fun I'm with trying you. Trying to get the little at bedtime, every time. Elijah, lay down. You guys get real sleep, and they try to get silly too. So instead, will we be calming? Will you kind of just help me sing to them? Yeah. Sure. Okay. When the sun is setting, we know. Lay that down. Sun. We laughed and played together. And we've had so much fun. Now close your eyes. I'll sing you a lullaby. Just close your eyes. And listen to this lullaby. Even though you're tired, it's hard to say. Those kids are not one bit sleepy. <laughs> Must have been a family made up song. I don't recognize that song anywhere. God, where do I go now? 
Do I go back down to the boat? Huh. Where do I go? Let's see back down here. That's a magic boat. You did not sail here with it, or that, or you got a very strong current. Uh, let's go here. Okay. What is this? Oh, another letter. We've been through so much already. This is a new degree of tragedy, but it's not so much different from the struggle we've already been living. We pressed into God. We pressed into faith. We fought until we found peace. We stood in peace when our flesh wanted to strive more. We stood in peace when it started to feel like laziness or foolishness or both. <laughs> we waited for God to direct us specifically in prayer because all the directions we had initiated had not panned out. We prayed for no nausea because that's what we felt in our spirits we were supposed to pray, even though we'd prayed it countless times before while Joel continued to vomit. We saw one small miracle, and then another. We waited to pray specific things until we were given specific direction, and we saw bigger miracles. And yet, if you asked either of us if we were doing enough, trying hard enough, we would say no. Okay, it turns out I missed a letter over there. Like I didn't right to see that purple bottle. As this long day draws to a close, I am tired, but not sleepy. My face is puffy from crying. I have a dry throat and dry hands, a slight headache, and a desire to write down absolutely everything. I want to describe the feeling of being entirely empty and entirely resolute. I want to explore how I can be deeply sad and incredibly hopeful at the same time. I want to talk about holding Joel's hand, walking down the hall wanting to soak in the moment to memorize the feeling of having his hand and mine to let it matter and then hating that my thoughts swing to because what if I can't hold his hand one day and hating that thought wishing I could just appreciate each second of Joel without that appreciation spilling into the pre-morning I refuse to do because I believe he will live but instead of fighting the brief thoughts of mourning, choosing to fight instead that lie that says that those thoughts betray some doubt, some mistrust of God, when I know that those thoughts make me human, that God knows I am human. He doesn't make Joel's victory dependent on me never feeling unsure. God, she's going through hell right now. They're all going through hell. So, how long will we be in California? Um, whew, I don't actually know. That's kind of why we're packing up everything, is because if the trial works really well, then maybe we'll stay in California for a really long time. Like, as long as it keeps helping Joel, then we want to stay and do the best we can for him and stay there where he's getting help. But if the medicine starts to not work, as soon as it's not helping him, I promise we'll come back home. Uh, are we going to Disneyland? Yeah, of course. You can get him. You can feed him for so long. I'm kind of excited, but I'm kind of not. I mean, I think it'll be fun, but I just don't like missing school. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a good kid. They have that. That's amazing. I hate to miss school, huh? Uh, but like, why? Well, I just hate having all the homework that yes, I have to do. Yes. Yes. Oh. Like screw homework. Up from missing school. That kid's smart. Your teachers are gonna send me homework, and we'll 
we'll just try to do a little bit of it every day. So it won't be that bad, but they'll still be fun and stuff we can How do. many kids get to go and go on an adventure to California in the middle of the school year? That's it, that's pretty cool. And we're gonna be staying in the middle of San Francisco near Golden Gate Park and there's a museum and there's uh, there's a botanic garden and there's the Golden Gate Bridge and water and a prison and <laughs> I promise not to leave you in the prison. Alcatraz. That's so nice of you. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so we're gonna have lots of fun and we're gonna spend lots of time as a family together and lots of time with Joel. Yeah. It's kind of a sad trip, even though it's fun. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay and sad. It's kind of all of those things, mm -hmm. huh? Is it all the things, Caleb? Yeah, I mean. That's his son's name, Caleb. It's hard to see Joel, you know, like needing so much help. Mm. Yeah. I think, like, for me, sometimes I'm kind of excited and sometimes I'm kind of sad. And I just kind of feel all of that. So it's okay if you guys feel all of that too, because I feel all of those things. Well, that's it. Are these letters in a bottle? Wait, there's a lot of letters here. I won't let myself hold anything back this time. I would rather feel disappointed and let God heal my heart than to feel like I did not push myself as far as I possibly could in faith for my son. It was easier to believe that God would win this battle for Joel oh. when the dragon Joel was facing was blurry, seen from a great distance up on a hill very far away. Now the dragon Joel is facing is close enough for us to begin to see every scale and scar. We can feel its breath. We were confident before because we weren't quite sure what we were facing. Then our confidence was misplaced. When the dragon becomes more real, then our God must become even bigger, even more real to us. Our faith must grow to match our circumstances. We must not no matter how tempting, try to shrink our circumstances to match our perception of God. She's really into God here. Like, she's clinging on to him in hopes that Joel is going to be alright. Also, that black thing in the distance over there? That, I think that's cancer? When was that there? Well, we did come over from over there, but I don't think I noticed. Either way. I remember the day I was diagnosed. I remember the hallucinations from the high fever of five-year-old's nightmares. I remember my mother silently weeping in the doctor's office. I remember friends and family gathered around my hospital bed in prayer. I remember the two-hour ambulance ride to St. Jude where they could better care for me. I remember the two and a half years of weekly chemo treatments the numerous lumbar punctures and bone marrow aspirates. I remember Drs. Bell, Dahl, and Kalvinsky, nurses Jean, Judy, and Dale, Miss Chris in social work, Darlene in travel, all part of the team that cared for me. There's a lot of people. I am a walking memorial to their successes. I remember the other patients I'd see each time I went to the hospital for chemo. I remember when some stopped coming. I knew what that meant. I remember the years of summer camp for children with cancer, children like me. I remember their laughter and the midnight talks of fears and joys, normal kid stuff, some less so. I remember when some stopped coming. I knew what that meant, but I remember them. I am and other survivors are memorials to those who lost their fights. Mm. I guess I just go over here next. Whoa! Ok, 
Okay. I was expecting to just land on the thing. I oh, didn't expect her to go expectation is so maddening sometimes. Video games. You know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. <sighs> and yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord. Replete with presents. Supernatural miracles. Is taking a huge toll on the fam. Joel the baby knight. Oh! Hop in bed, boys. Let's go. Oh, damn right, let's go. We're about to play a game. But anyway, we're, we'll continue this in the next episode. Uh, I'll see you all later in the next video. Bye bye.